Shalom and welcome to Revolutionary Living. We are in week, the end of week 29. So I'll be doing my pregnancy updates, bump dates at the end of each week. And yeah, I am excited. So of course I am in third trimester. And what's my focus this week? What am I craving this week? What have I been doing this week? How am I feeling? How's baby? Any new news? All that good stuff. So, as I mentioned before, um, I'm pivoting to have a focus on just my overall physical stability, health, stamina, all of that. So, I really focused on the walking this week. And as I said, the weeks leading up to this, I, I was trying to establish a routine. And I, <laughs> I found my rhythm last week. So, my goal was to walk at least three times a week a mile each time which obviously is three miles a week but if i'm really doing good i walk a mile every weekday five miles a week um turns out last week i did seven and a half miles for the week i'm very proud of that it was only walking it was outdoor like hiking so hills different terrain um so i'm out of breath just talking right now so imagine walking so I feel very good with um, putting that in my routine. Now I'm getting to this week and I see um, sometimes it doesn't work out to go out walking. It's getting dark earlier. We're getting into the late fall now. So I'm going to make that up with in-home workouts or bike ride. And it's still at minimum do my three miles of outdoor walking because I do want to have that vitamin D exposure. You tend to get low levels in the end of your pregnancy. Um, women or people with melanin tend to have low vitamin d levels anyways i didn't have that problem this pregnancy i've been supplementing since before i got pregnant um due to my blood work not just blindly supplementing um but by the time i got my blood work done in pregnancy my levels were way up but i have been keeping it up um in different intervals now um that being said supplementation i made sure to try to stay up on my prenatals um, I am increasing the volume that I'm drinking of my prep teas. If you don't know what I mean by that, definitely look it up. I'm not suggesting any supplements to you. I'm simply stating what I'm taking and keeping in mind that everything I'm taking is uh, suggested and overseen by my clinical team. And um, for the tea, I have not only changed the amount that I've been drinking, but when I first started, I was around 24 weeks and I was drinking just the red raspberry leaf tea. Um, and then once I, from like 24 to like 27. And then around then I switched from just the red raspberry to red raspberry and nettle. That's just the herbs I happen to have on hand. I buy them loosely from a herb store and um, they're both pregnancy safe. Again, for me, my health and per my clinician's recommendations. I'm now going to switch over to Nora tea. So that RA, Nora, does include red raspberry leaf or the N, nettle. But I'm adding the O and the A, that oat strong, oat strong, yes, and alfalfa leaf. So I'm up in my herb intake, doing it at least once a day, but truly for me, probably twice. A lot of people don't start this at all until past 34 weeks, sometimes even past 36. So again, I definitely suggest if you're interested in taking herbal supplements to consult with your physician. But that's what I'm doing. Um, food, I'm still eating a good bit this week. For food, um, the appetite has been up. I can eat three meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I don't know if that sounds normal to y'all, but I'm gonna keep saying it, because I'm just blown away. Like I was a one meal a day, barely any snacks kind of person, and try to get down as much water as I can. Now, you know, I have my time, so I'm just thirsty, thirsty, thirsty. I want water. I add things to it to make sure I'm actually getting hydrated from the water. Um, again, I can eat three times a day, and I don't feel over full. Um, Still not much of a snacker. I want a meal at meal time. And this week I did my glucose testing. I don't think it was last week. And so the way that I did that, you have a few different options. You have one to go to the doctor after fasting for a certain amount of time. They give you this sugary drink. You have to wait for an hour and then they test your glucose um, with this standard sugary drink. A lot of people have a problem with the ingredients of the drink. 
Um, so people choose the second option, which is called the first test. It's the same concept as some ingredients in this sugary drink is supposedly organic or a little bit cleaner. The first test was available to me, but I did not do that one. Same concept though. One option is just asking your doctor, can you opt out of it? If you're going with a traditional doctor, it may not be an option. Of course, I'm not going with a traditional doctor. I'm working with a more holistic midwife. Um, so I could have opted out of it. And then my fourth option is what I chose is to monitor my glucose at home. What does that look like? So if you've ever seen the diabetic test strips on the machine, you have to prick your finger. I did that. Same concept after my intake of food, not a sugary drink, standard food um, for three days, three meals a day, plus my fast and glucose when I wake up, um, I test my blood sugar after my meals. Um, that went great. My numbers look great. Um, if you're curious what the numbers should be, I definitely encourage you to look it up. It was a great look at just my diet, just to see how my food is affecting me, my insulin resistance, my glucose in general. So I really enjoyed this method that it's not just this one sugary drink response test. It truly is a glucose response to what I'm eating day to day. Um, so that's the method, method that I chose. And again, it went very, very good. I am growing by the day, by the week, belly wise belly itches here and there but you know i take pictures of myself and i would be like in my mind my belly is so much bigger i'll be looking at pictures like i'm really not that big and yes i'm going to show the bump um i don't have any stretch marks or anything and i feel good i feel energized but again i'm growing baby's growing he's moving around a lot i can feel that he's moving lower i don't know if he's just bigger so i can feel the movements in a lower position in my belly or abdomen um or he is just lower but he's been head down since the anatomy scan at six weeks 26 weeks excuse me and yes they can move around day to day hour to hour but he was head down at that time and again i'm now at the end of 29 lemonade i've been drinking lemonade for the last few weeks and at this point i've decided it is a craving um and I'm not mad at it. It's not the worst thing to crave. And I don't just drink cups and cups and cups of lemonade or lemonade straight. Often what I do is add just a splash into my herbal teas. Um, <laughs> and drink it like an honor farmer or drink the herbal teas once they've chilled, put them on ice, add a little splash of lemonade just for the taste and drink it like, like an honor farmer or half and half, whatever you call it. Um... Doing, been doing a lot of running around this week. So I've been in the car a lot. Um, I feel pretty good. I still feel like my ribs can kind of get compressed. Like I need to stretch out to make room. Um, my hips, pelvis still can get a little shaky. Um, but it's not bad. Like I'm pregnant, but it's not like I'm disabled type thing. Um, like I may not, when I'm walking strides, I mean, I can walk as far apart in steps like that may be more difficult like walking up a hill or just bringing my knees as high in a walk or trying to go up an incline or something I can tell like yeah nah, this pelvis ain't I ain't trying to hear that um but I am now going to chiropractic every two weeks so I went this week at the end of this week and my hips were way off so I got those realigned so at the end of the day, the little, the little inconveniences that I am experiencing, I am also addressing them. Um, and overall, I feel good. My energy is there. I'm getting things done around the house. Uh, people around me are seeming to get into motion of, okay, they're going to be having this baby soon. If I'm going to do anything with them, for them, let, let's get that done. And that makes me happy because once I know it's complete and I know me or somebody's taking care of it, I'm good. I feel great. So that is week 29. Not that much exciting. I may drop some clips in here about what we did this week. You know, went to Atlanta back, dates, Cairo, coffee dates, whatever. Eating my favorites, which is a donut now. From a local coffee shop is so good, y'all. Like I need like one a day. And then you just sell me a dozen. I'm literally just gonna go get one a day. But that's it. Let's take a look at the boy at the belly. Yep, this is it. This is it. This is me. It's my skirt. 
This is me at 29, end of 29, going into 30. Now do this again at 30. So yeah, this is me. That's my skirt. But that is all. I know it seems so much bigger from last week, but my shirt is just actually way tighter. So you get like a true feel for it stomach to back ratio i don't know and this is what i look like oh my gosh <laughs> oh that's it i'm gonna answer a couple questions too so if you're not following me us on social media um my personal page page is our evolutionary wife and then you got our evolutionary living our collective page but i posted that i'm going to be doing these recaps again they're not for perfection you see i got the shadow coming on me on this side i'm chilling i'm at home they're really for my memories um but of course i love to share my memories with you all when i can and i asked what would people like to know or see so i'm gonna address a few of those questions today in this video one somebody wanted to see weekly bump photos well boom there you have it i'm pinning the bump in the video i also posted it to instagram uh, someone asked about contractions no i'm not having contractions as of yet several people have asked me am i experiencing braxton hits some hits i'm about seven and a half months i have not experienced um, braxton hits now there is a chance that they're happening and i just don't know it i don't think so but contractions can sometimes not feel like pain per se and just be a tightening in the belly do my belly get tight? Yes. But it's just tight anyways. Like it's very hard to the touch as I believe bellies are, but especially mine, like it's very stretched out. Um, and most of the time when it feels tight, it's not so much like it's tightening your muscles, but more so like I can feel the baby maybe leaning to the forward part of my abdomen and like pushing on a certain area. So he's like really stretching it. So it feels tight. Um, you now what am I doing for contractions as far as managing my pain and labor? If you're asking that, I am I'm gonna use breathing exercises. I'm familiar with them, of course, as a doula myself, but I'm still gonna review and study, and I'm gonna go through all of the position changes, breath suggestions, all that with my doula. I've instructed all of my team to we all know I work as a birth professional treat me like a mother not a doula treat me like a novice so i'm gonna go through that whole class with my doula class um i am taking childbirth education classes which will help just prepare my mindset for managing my mind through the contractions um but again i'm not doing any medication in theory um because we plan to be home lord's will so in a natural not non-emergency situation low risk birth which all fits me i'm gonna be home which means that i won't have access to all the average pain medications so I'm not doing anything for contractions besides controlling my mind and my body through positioning um and like labor easing motions you would do on a mom body yeah i'll be forgetting words too um what am i doing to stay physically and mentally comfortable i kind of hit that already i rest like i don't think people get it like i rest when i need to it's really just that simple but for a lot of people it's really not it's especially not once you have kids already you have jobs things like that but i have truly come to terms with this would probably be the last pregnancy i can choose rest when i need it um and i have to catch up on it so to speak so i rest when i need to um, I would say that my husband, my Lord, has a great sense of empathy of I'm growing a child. So he's not requiring like an excessive amount of things from me. He's helping me with some tasks. Like I may be cleaning up, but when it comes to like, oh, I'm cleaning, but this box needs to be moved or I'm cleaning up, but this trash needs to be taken out. Um, you know, he's very active about being involved with that process to take off some of the heavier load for me. So that helps physically. I'm walking, staying active. And while that is tiring and it can cause me to have kind of little aches and stuff, those 
aching in response to working out as opposed to being sedentary to me is more worth it. So I'm gonna keep doing that. Um, stretching, stretching helps a lot. Look up like how to release your pelvic floor, um, pregnancy stretches, sciatic pain stretches, all that type stuff. Um, and different ones help different things. Of course, I'm going to chiropractic. And then we're going to see towards the end of pregnancy if time, scheduling, money, whatever works out, availability. Then I may do something like a uh, prenatal massage. Well, I'm, I am doing a prenatal massage. I already got it scheduled, actually. But that's about it. Outside of that, it's just managing my mood and my spirit through study praying and reading. And yeah, that's it. I mean, it's not a little task. I don't want to say that's it. But it's like... I'm doing natural things that we all should really be striving to do for ourselves anyway, because pregnant or not, we're supposed to take care of our temples. But that's it. If I have more questions that come in throughout the week, I will post them until week 30, 30, 30 weeks. Wow. So I actually did not get a lot of clips of me throughout the week, but here's just a quick peek at the Nora tea and my favorite coffee shop and that is all i got for you all thank you all again for tuning and i'll see you next week